Good everybody, welcome. This is Paul Flynn with GetOutFilms.org for the 18th of November, 2015. Unfortunately, going to be talking about Stephen Anderson for a few minutes, uh, the professional attention seeker that Stephen Anderson is, and I think anybody who's been following his so-called ministry for years has kind of known that he is not that far off Westboro Baptist Church. Now, I think at times he seems somewhat like a Christian, but there's times when, you know, you'd be just left shaking your head. In the midst of the tragedy that occurred in Paris last week, and our prayers and our thoughts should go to those who've lost loved ones. And uh, where I work, I there's two French people, and I said I was sorry for what happened. That should be our primary thing. If somebody loses a loved one, we we should be not doing what this man is saying. This isn't Christian at all. But we should be you know, try to be a blessing if we can be to them and pray for their soul. Okay, they all need Jesus Christ. And in this video, this is part of his diatribe against the rock band Eagles of Death Metal. Now, just so people are aware, he's completely wrong. Um, Eagles of Death Metal are not a death metal band. It's kind of a ironic title. I don't like the band at all. Uh, I, I know who they are. I've heard of them years ago when I was... If anybody's listening to my te- listened to my testimony years ago, I came out of a rock and metal background. I know what these concerts are like, right? I know what this lifestyle is like. I know how wicked it is. I know how sinful it is. But we should be, we shouldn't be like the Pharisees pointing out the sin. We, for all of sin, to fall short of the glory of God. We all deserve death. And while Anderson in his video will claim at times, well, I don't condone what the Islamists did, he very much implies that these people who went to the concert had it coming. Now, that is wicked. And here's why. Uh, Luke chapter 13 uh, reads, There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices which is a very wicked thing. Verse 2, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they had done this wicked thing. Because they suffered such things, I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Just a little little aside, yes, going to a, a rock concert is wicked, of course, but... How much wicked, how wicked is self-righteousness? How wicked is to think of yourself greater than you are? Verse 4. Or those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that you were sinners, that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And this is contrary to Stephen Anderson's message. He teaches a false, heretical, decisionalism gospel that leaves salvation in the will of man. And here's what you get. You get the fruit of the flesh. We'll just play the video and we'll comment on it. It is horrendous, and I apologize in advance. Read to you was about the place where most of the killing took place. You know, out of 128 dead, 80 some were dead at this rock concert. Let me tell you a little bit about the rock concert that the people were at when they died. This is what a lot of people are not emphasizing about this story. The concert was for a band called Eagles of Death Metal, okay? So these people are at a concert of a band called Eagles of Death Metal, and these are members from another band that's known as the Queens of the Stone Age, but they're men. Okay, but it's the queens of the Stone Age. Here's an article about the front man of this rock band, Jesse Hughes. Okay, I'm going to read for you this article. As two spotty teenage fans, one dressed in skinny pink jeans and a goofy oversized cap, poke... Okay, he's going to read about the the drug excesses involved in Eagles of of Death Metal. I'm going to get mixed up and... 
a couple of the members, um, at least one or two of the members were in Queens of Stone Age. Again, I've listened to this music. I used to be a que- kind of a Queens of Stone Age fan. I used to be into death metal, for goodness sake. I know what death metal is. Queens of Stone Age or Eagles of Death Metal are not death metal at all. But anyway, the inaccuracies aside, it's the least of our concern here. But let's skip ahead and uh, get to the meat of the, his uh, so-called argument. The pulpit. But here's a few that I found. Here's what he said. I'm deep death metal. Somebody might get killed. Okay. To hate God, love death. You know, it, it, there's something about when you go to a concert of death metal, somebody might get killed. Right. You know, you're worshiping death. And then all of a sudden people start dying. Oh, wait a minute. What, what's going on? Well, you love death so much yeah. that you bought the ticket. Yeah. You love. How about what a tragedy? What a waste of life. How about. If only they had turned to Christ and exhort them. How about the people in the congregation saying, rather than they had it coming, rather than saying that to them, how about going to your congregation and saying, look, those people did not know what was coming to them. For it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. And warn them, we do not know this how long we've got left, for this life is but a vapor that appears for a little time and it vanishes away, the Bible tells us. So we've only got such a short time in this earth. We we seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Warning needy sinners, we're all all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, including Stephen Anderson. I deserve death. Stephen Anderson deserves that. We all deserve death. But Is Stephen Anderson putting forward... No, he's saying... He's not putting forward Christianity. He's putting forward a distortion, an unbalanced picture of the Bible. Yes, there is judgment upon sinners. But there's just as much... We are not to say, just because... I mean, look at Job. Look at the book of Job, for goodness sake. I mean, Job's so-called friends in the book of Job claimed because Job was going through such things that they wanted to think that he was a hypocrite, a sinner, greater than them. But look at how God rebuked them at the end. We need to realize we are wretched sinners, and Christians are the recipients of grace, and this is the fruit, sadly, this is the fruit of decisionalism. Unconverted church members Rich in zeal, but lacking in love for the lost. In Galatians 5.22 we read, For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Can we see that? Can we honestly say we see that in Stephen Anderson's life? I've covered him for years in different radio shows about his coarse, carnal, uncaring attitude. Our hearts should go out to those who lost loved ones in Paris. Yes, <laughs> you know, lots of them are doing wicked things, but you could say that about any nation on the planet. There is no nation on the planet that acknowledges Jesus Christ as he ought to be acknowledged. We ought to be, all of us, in sackcloth and ashes and not saying, I am, you know, not like the Pharisees saying, thank you that I'm not like those under sinners. Thank you that I'm not like the Pharisee. He's no different to Joel Osteen, except, well, he's not as much of a smiler. Self-righteous Pharisee. That's what he is. Worshipping Satan? Well, let's have some of Satan's religion come in and shoot you. I mean, that's what these people should think about before they go to such a wicked concert. And look, I'm not condoning what these Islamic murderers did. They're wicked. They're murderers. But you know what? Nobody should be at a concert worshipping Satan with this drug-pushing hillbilly faggot. And that's what he is. I mean, all you have to do is just Google this band. Somebody told me, somebody emailed me and said, just hit Google Images, Eagles of Death Metal. And these guys are just total sodomite-looking freaks. You know, but nobody thinks about that. It's just, oh, no. 
Let's, si let's stand with France. No, France is a sinful, wicked nation. Let me tell you a little bit about France. I'm sorry, before I do, though, come on. After a tragedy like France has gone through, how about we focus in on what it reveals? How about the nature of Islam? You know, the Quran and anything. That could have been talked about. No. What's he implying here? France had it coming. If he's not implying this, he's doing a horrible, horrible job. He is either incredibly stupid or incredibly wicked. I don't know which it is. I'll leave God to decide that. But after such a tragedy that you wouldn't approach this with sensitivity and love. Let me finish some of these quotes from this article. Hughes claims that doing crystal meth helps his creativity. He says, I who got shot in France, we're going to see a guy who likes to hang out at gay bars at 5 a.m. Okay, now listen, again, not condoning the murderers, but I'm telling you something. God will judge you when you live a life of sin. There's consequences to sin. And you know what the Bible says? He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a You know what also is a sin? Self-righteousness. Self-righteousness. Anderson doesn't see himself. Anderson sees, you know, sin as kind of like, well, we've all just made mistakes. No, we're anybody who's been saved has received the gift of God, the faith, the instrument that lays hold upon eternal life. It is a gift of God, lest any man should boast. We all, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. How about we get that message across? How about we proclaim that message that we deserve, all of us, I have done incredibly wicked things that I am ashamed of. But what does Stephen Anderson preach? They had a coming to him. He doesn't seem to see himself as a sinner. Of course, we call out sin. Of course, we do these things. But in the midst of a tragedy, we stand with those who've been murdered and we try to reach out to those who are mourning rather than saying well they had it coming condoning not condoning what they did well, he's not far away from it and yes Islam is a wicked religion Companion of fools shall be destroyed. Sometimes just hanging around with the wrong people can get you destroyed. How many people do you know where they were in a situation where they weren't even guilty of anything, but they were just hanging around with the worst kind of people, and then they got into trouble, and they got into guilt by association and everything else. This was a very wicked event where this took place, this Eagles of Death Metal concert. There's nothing cool about death. There's nothing fun about death. I don't think they thought it was fun when people were getting shot in this horrible massacre. But then they think it's cool to, yeah, death metal, yeah, eagles of death metal, yeah, rock on. There's nothing cool about worshiping Satan. And you know what? There's nothing cool about doing meth either. Have you ever known people whose lives are destroyed by meth? And it's not just what it does to their teeth, but what it does to their body and their mind and their teeth and their whole life. I just pray to anybody who's listening to this message, realize that, oh, sorry, there's some of the videos that are popping up in the corner are not great. Um, I think that's actually from the band, unfortunately. All the sins and fall short of the glory of God. I used to write the most God-hating lyrics you would ever imagine. I hated God. And according to Stephen Anderson, I would be cut off, a reprobate. May we reach the lost realizing that we would do exactly the same, if not worse, but for the grace of God and but for the regeneration of the Spirit of God, being made a new creature in Christ. This has been Paul Flynn. May God bless you all. Talk to you at the weekend.